Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to a very special type episode. So, I don't know if you guys saw or not, but I gave you a shot of my GoPro. So you're probably wondering, whoa, how am I shooting what I'm shooting right now? Well, this is the old GoPro you guys are watching me on. And basically what happened is that this weekend, I went out with my girl, you know, just to do some quick filming. You know, over here at Parque Santana, there was like a little bit of a Oaxacan festival going on. And uh, yeah, basically what happened, it was just a few minutes into it. I'll play some of it right now. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today, we're heading to the Festival de Oaxaca, which is happening right over here in uh, El Parque de Santa Ana. Um, as you guys already know, we literally live a few blocks away from Parque Santa Ana. And uh, so um, the other day when I was riding my bike, and I'm sure you caught it um, in the last episode, I was riding my bike and there was a, a guy with a bullhorn announcing um, this festival. So um, I asked, I told her about it and she goes, oh yeah, let me look it up on Facebook. And bam, sure enough, it's happening this weekend and only this weekend. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna be going and we're taking you guys along with us. So, all right, without further ado, I'll see you guys at the festival. Uh-oh, we found the coronavirus. It's sitting over here. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't help myself. Anyways, we're pretty much here. I just decided to record so you guys can get an idea how close we are. I was gonna get on the, I'm gonna get on the other side of the street so I can show you a little better. Obviously, you see this traffic coming my way. But if you guys can see there, the festival's on that corner there. Waiting for this guy over here, driving a uh, little Miss Daisy there. Anyways, there you go. So you guys already know where we are, okay? Parque Santa Ana, and look at that. The whole thing is turned into a Oaxacan festival. So um, this will give us a, a little taste of what's to come, because I definitely plan, I definitely plan on taking you guys around Mexico and uh, you know Oaxaca is on our checklist of places to go visit so all right without further ado I'm just gonna edit cut here so we can uh, I'll, I'll meet you there all right so yeah basically after that the whole thing just uh, died on me and it just went kaput and to me it's like well this is a brand new GoPro these things are supposed to made to last forever so I was kind of like uh, kind of upset and um, sad and uh, you know I got home tried to do all the fixes to it and nothing at all so basically i was able to contact gopro and man were they awesome they're, in fact they're crazy awesome in fact uh, i chatted with them and within a few hours basically you know what i mean i mean it still took a while but still within an hour two hours of me chatting with them online um yeah they sent me um you know the shipping label they sent me all the instructions they sent me everything so that i can again ship this well i'm gonna see if i can put it in that box wrap it with this um, using that and then uh, just pop it in that box put the shipping label on it and all that good stuff and send it off and the cool part about all this is the fact that again you guys already know I'm in Mexico um, a, a friend of mine <laughs> yeah sorry about that I haven't used this camera in such a long time that the battery was already dead and um, that's why it cut off halfway um, but yeah basically uh, right now I'm um, yeah just like I was saying though um, so a good friend of ours uh, Shout out to Pearl out there. She's the one that sent me this GoPro. She's the one that gave me this uh, GoPro for Christmas. So this thing was bought in the US and um, given to me as a gift out here in Mexico. And again, I, I explained all that to the GoPro people, told them, hey, look, I need it shipped out here, that whole thing. And they were, man, beyond amazing. Again, like some of the best customer service I've ever had, alongside the fact that, again, these are some of the best cameras ever. Now, again, this thing broke and uh, it's only like a few months old, but you know, again, they were they, they were surprised as to the, the fact that it was broken and they were trying to just fix my, my situation. And I mean, I, I'm, I'm filming on a GoPro 3 that's like 100 years old right now and um, it still works, it's still amazing. And so that's why to me, when this thing broke, I was like, there's no way, there's no way that this thing could have broken. I mean, I've only used it for a few months and all that good stuff, but again, you know, they reassured me that that is definitely not something normal and that, uh, yeah, all, all they just wanted me to, to do is just ship this thing back to make sure that they, you know, it's broken and the whole thing was real and all that good stuff. You already know how it is. And basically, yeah, as soon as they um, prove that this thing is broken, they're just going to send me a brand new one back. And it's already broken because I went through all the, 
um, uh, troubleshooting stuff with the guys and, and you know the, the guy on GoPro uh, the customer support guy and it was funny because once we finished uh, you know the whole uh, troubleshooting thing he basically said uh oh that's not good <laughs> and I'm like man that's not what I want to hear but again you know even though I'm gonna be out of commission with this camera for a few weeks it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be making content I just wanted to make this video so that you guys have an idea of what's going on and also I wanted to document the awesomeness of uh, the GoPro customer support. In the meantime, you know, we'll just be doing other Mexico content like this video, which is, you know, what happens when your camera breaks or something like this breaks out here in Mexico and what do you do? So, step number one, uh, I had to get like a box. I had to get like some sort of something to mail this in. So back in the States, um, it's fairly easy to just go to Office Depot or go to a, some office supply store or something like that. and and uh, get this done but out here in Mexico things are a little more difficult yeah there's office depots but they're kind of very far away from where I am they're in the north of the city and I'm not gonna be you know going on my bike 20 minutes just to get a box so I was just trying to figure out where I can get a box out here and all that stuff and then you know in order to print the, pr the shipping labels and all that I can just go to a very local print shop like where I print a lot of things you know for myself already whether it's pictures or artwork or whatever over here in Parque Santa Ana so then I'm just gonna literally i'm gonna wrap this guy up okay i'm gonna wrap it up here i know and I, I'm, I'm just tied right now i'm i'm uh i'm also um charging the camera that's why i can't really move the camera much but anyways um so i'm gonna wrap this thing up in here i'm gonna stick it in there all right and then you know obviously there's like stuff on the outside so then i'm gonna wrap it with this so that it's a nice white background okay and then uh then i'm gonna sh put the shipping label on that sucker and send it away um yeah there are ups stores out here so i'm gonna be going to the ups store in its centro and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to film or not but regardless you know um i'm gonna be taking you on this adventure with me today so all right guys well without further ado i gotta get this going i gotta start wrapping this up so i can get out of here i already spent way too much time uh just trying to find a box and trying to get all this ready this morning so all right guys talk to you later all right uh, i kind of wrapped this thing up but i realized i had to put a piece of paper in there like a work order so i gotta kind of have to reopen this up and stick it in there yeah. but anyways i did find more cardboard so i'll be able to use you know again this cardboard i'm just gonna open it up you know whatever this way use some more cardboard you know make the box nice and nice so i'm actually gonna go real quick to the print shop so i can get the paperwork come back finish the box and then once I do that, I'm going to go out to the UPS store again. So, all right, let's go out to the print shop. Hey, guys. All right, so I'm here at the Quick Digital place. You see it's right in front of Parque Santana. That's the place there. But uh, there's the Oaxacan Festival. Sorry about the wind. Anyways, there's the Oaxacan Festival where the camera died a couple days ago. Actually, two days ago on Saturday. Today's Monday. And then uh, here, I'm already in there getting my work done. So let me just get back in there and... Uh, Get back to work, all right? I'll see you guys at the house. All right, guys. Well, I'm already home and um, I already have this whole thing packaged up and ready to go. Look at this nice little beautiful box. So now um, I'm on my way to the UPS store. I gotta drive, well, I gotta take my bike uh, all the way down to El Centro. Wish me luck. So I can go to the UPS store so that I can send this, so that I can just be done with this already. Literally been at this for like around three, four hours already. It's crazy exhausting, but hey, at the very least, I can get a brand new GoPro and uh, you know, we're pretty much all done with this. After I sent this, then I gotta be on top of like the whole um, uh, shipping tracking, you know, tracking this whole thing to make sure that uh, it doesn't get lost out there in the void. So, all right guys, well, I'm gonna head out I'm gonna go do this at the UPS store and I'll be back in a little bit so I can just uh, finish this episode and uh, that's it, all right? We'll chat a little more after that, okay? So uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I gotta go uh, ship this son of a bitch. All right, guys, well, I'm back. I just came back from the UPS store and um, there's my bike. So I'm about to put the bike inside. And uh, yeah, you know, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of uh, info. I just realized um, I'm not going to be able to do this with two hands. So you know what? Let me put the bike inside the house and uh, I'll get back to you guys in a sec, okay?
All right, guys. Well, I already got the bike inside. I'm already back home. It's uh, literally 12, 15 noon p.m. on a Monday afternoon. Now, I started this whole ordeal, I want to say 8, 30, 9 in the morning, give or take. Basically, nothing's open till 9 in the morning. But, um, yeah, I had to wait because I had to go to the print store so I can print out the the stuff that I needed to put inside the box and outside the box and all that. I also had to find the box, put the whole thing in the box, you know, just wrap it up, that whole deal. So basically all of that this morning, um, including going to the UPS store, once I was done with the box and taking it to the UPS store and uh, dropping it off and that whole deal, everything took around three hours. And not yesterday, but on Saturday afternoon, after the camera broke and i came back home and i just went to talk to gopro that was around two hours so basically my camera broke and um two hours with uh tech support on uh you know online with gopro and i want to say actually three hours you know two and a half three hours because i actually started doing a lot of uh you know um troubleshooting on my own before i actually contacted them and um so uh, around three hours and three hours so around six hours total for the whole thing from the moment the camera broke to then you know when i started doing the troubleshooting then i contacted gopro and that whole deal so that was all three hours from the moment it broke and i started doing troubleshooting to literally the moment when uh the troubleshooting ended with customer service and they sent me a brand new uh um you know when they sent me um again the packaging information and the paperwork and all that good stuff and then sunday well everything was closed and i, I had some uh you know plans already with some friends uh, me and christian when uh went to go hang out with them and have a little lazy sunday and again sunday there was nothing i could have done so then monday came along which is today and i spent literally from nine in the morning all the way till 12 noon getting the whole thing resolved two weeks later i know you really can't see it but you see that back there that's a ups truck he literally just left uh, with the package. It's just too dark out there to film, but there's the box. I just got it. And already kind of opened it because I wanted to make sure. But anyways, here it is. Look at that. Bam. Pretty cool, huh? There's the GoPro. Pretty interesting. I'm not sure. I mean, I did, again, I opened it. It was a little hard to open, but, you know, I guess that's the way it was supposed to come. You know, no battery or anything. But, you know, let me uh, check this out. Here. Okay. There's nothing in the box. <clears throat> okay. And then, here's the camera. Does it have a battery in it? No, no battery. We get a brand new camera. Now let's see if it works. We got a battery here. GoPro. All right. All right, so I got to set this guy up. All right, guys. So I'm going to make this a really short video, just an update. So now I got my camera back, but I also wanted to give you guys the update. Um, that, yeah, I mean, again, a stellar service, you know, not just from GoPro. GoPro, awesome, stellar service, as always. I mean, not only do they make amazing, crazy, awesome cameras, but stellar 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 service you know basically uh and uh you know when it comes to ups as well that you know to the last package is delivered 9 p.m this guy um has been out since uh it says like uh, 8 37 um i'm sure he got to work a lot earlier than that so he's been out already 13 hours and going so um I'm, that's a one hour taco meal included but anyways i digress um he's out there he's still out there you know what i mean and this might have been his last package of the day but anyways yeah it got delivered everything's great everything's wonderful and then uh you know after this you're going to be seeing uh, a brand new camera so this is uh the last one on this camera for a while all right so knock on wood right we got to hold on where's uh where we got some oh we got some wood down here 
All right, guys. So, anyways, you already know the deal. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Don't forget to stay awesome, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.